thank you so much for joining me today. Today I thought we would make baked oatmeal. I know we did granola last week, but the baked oatmeal, you're gonna be glad you tried it also. All right, let's get started. So our first ingredient is one cup of melted butter, and I've already got that working on melting. There we go. Two cups of brown sugar. So last week, when I was making granola, I used up all of my brown sugar, which I was really excited about actually, because I wanted to try making my own. So that's what this brown sugar is. This is something that I did on my own. And it is one cup of sugar to one tablespoon of molasses. And if you want lighter brown sugar, you can add a little bit less molasses. If you want a darker brown sugar, then you can add more molasses. But taste it as you go. Oop. There's my oven, it is preheated. Um, Anyway, if you want um, darker brown sugar, add more molasses. If you want lighter brown sugar, add less. But it's the basic recipe is one cup of just white sugar. I just use raw cane sugar. And then to one tablespoon of molasses. Put it in your mixer and mix it until it's combined and it's good to go. So, kind of fun, and it is so good. It doesn't even taste like store-bought, which isn't really super molasses-y anyway. Okay, our next ingredient is four eggs. Let's get those in. Get those in here. I usually like to break them into something and I forgot to get an extra bowl here, but this will work just fine. And I'm just gonna stir those eggs a little bit here before we add anything else. All right, six cups of oatmeal. There we go. Four teaspoons of baking powder. And then two teaspoons of salt. Two, and I'm just using the Redmond's real salt, and we're gonna mix that around. Get all of that stirred here. And while we're stirring, stirring in mostly the dry ingredient, well, everything before we add milk, I'm gonna add some cinnamon. Cinnamon is this in this is super good. So I'm going to add two teaspoons. And again, you can add more or less to however much your family likes. This recipe is one of my family's favorites. They just absolutely love the baked oatmeal. One of my sons has a friend who, even as an adult, asks if I still make this. When he was spending the night at our house when they were all in high school, he loved it when I made this for breakfast for him. So even though people say they don't like 
hot oatmeal, they will really like this. Okay, that's all mixed well. Now let's add two cups of milk. There we go. And it's gonna be pretty moist, runny, soupy. <laughs> That's okay, it will still, this is how you want it to look actually. Okay, that's perfect. And let's put it into our nine by 13. This does not need to be greased or anything. You can just dump it on in. and just spread it evenly into your pan. And while we've been mixing this up, the oven has been preheating to 350 degrees. And we're just gonna bake this for 45 minutes. Okay, let's get this in the oven and we'll be right back. All right, it's all done. That looks delicious. Let's cut into it and see what we think here. All right, oh, look how that holds together. That's perfect. All right, and some of the sugar and liquid stuff forms on the bottom there. I'm gonna put milk on mine. I love a little bit of milk on it. it adds a little bit of moisture, but also just kind of more of a cereal then. Mmm, that is so good. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description box below. <laughs> and let me know if you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. This looks so good. Let's cut into it and see what we think here. Actually, I'm gonna do a metal piece. I'll come out a little bit easier. All right, oh, look how that holds together. That's perfect. All right. And some of the sugar and liquid stuff forms on the bottom there. And at this point, you can pour milk on it if you like milk on it, or just eat it like this. And it's really nice and moist and cooked all the way through. Mm, that is so good. You are going to love this. I'm gonna put the recipe for it in the description box below. Excuse me.